we came to a tie, but we've just had a quick discussion and I think we've decided that the is going to be the winner overall. Just because of the whole idea and the concept of it was just really cool. I'm Ruby and we're going to be making hex eggs in purgatory. We've got some chopped onions, chopped garlic, chopped peppers, tinned tomatoes, three eggs and heck 97%. So we're just going to put a dash of oil in and then we're going to fry the onions and garlic until soft. So now we're now going to get the sausages and take them out of the skin to make them into meatballs. Now we're going to fry the meatballs off. Just pop them in the pan. I've just made six, we can make however many you like. Next, we add in the chopped peppers and the tomatoes. Bring it to the boil and then add in either two or three eggs, depending on how hungry you are. <laughs> so it should look a little something like this. And if your eggs are still runny, you can always pop it back under the grill. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm Ellie. And today we're doing the Muscle Up recipe. This is with fresh broccoli, brown rice, coconut oil and fresh spinach and our chicken Italia sausages. So we need a pan. I'm going to melt the coconut um, oil on there. So I've chopped five chicken sausages into three pieces. I'm just going to add them into the coconut oil. We're going to add <laughs> brown rice. So we're going to leave them in there till they cook and brown off. So whilst sausages are browning off, I'm just going to add 100 grams of broccoli to boiling water. So the uh, sausages and rice have cooked for two minutes. I'm going to add the fresh spinach and the broccoli and they're going to cook for another minute. So I'm just going to add some salt and pepper to season it. And that's our dish done. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm Hannah. And today we're making our heck cassoulet. It's a really easy meal to cook any day of the week, you know, really quick. First of all, you need our heck 97% pork, carrots, stock, garlic, breadcrumbs, celery, onions, chicken thigh and bacon. Tin tomatoes, cannellini beans, thyme, bay leaves, lemon zest and chilli flakes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is turn our oven on, set it to 180 degrees. And whilst that's heating up, I'm going to fry the sausages up. And I'm going to fry the chicken and the bacon up. Okay, so get the sausages on. These should only take about 10 to 15 minutes to fry. So I'm just going to let these sausages fry away for a bit. It'll take another 5 to 10 minutes. Now we're going to add the uh, celery, garlic, onions and the carrots to the chicken and the bacon. Now Hannah's just going to mix all that up and cook it so it's all nice and brown. The sausages are just about there, so we're going to put those out of the way for a second. And now we're going to add our tomatoes and just a little bit of thyme, just to season it, you know, just a couple of sprigs and a tiny bit of bay leaf. We've got to add our stock as well. So now we're going to add our Heck 97% pork sausages and now we're just going to let it simmer for about five minutes with the sausages just to get them nice and tender. So all we have to do now is stick it in the oven. Hannah's just going to grab the oven dish for me. It only takes about 40 minutes at 180 degrees. There we go like a pro. So now I'm just going to stick this in the oven 180 degrees for 40 minutes. So while that's cooking I'm just going to pop a spoonful of butter in the frying pan get that melting and Jamie's going to get the casserole out of the oven. Just want to add the cannelloni beans to the casserole now. Okay so I'm going to pour the beans in, spread them nice and evenly. So now the butter's melted we're going to add uh, the breadcrumbs in, into it. All right, so I'm just going to give this a little stir and whilst Hannah's just mixing the breadcrumbs up, I'm going to add the chilies and the lemon zest as well. And she's just going to mix it up there until it's all mixed together. Um, but then we're just going to add the breadcrumbs to the top of the dish and it's ready to go back in the oven for 20 minutes. So what's this one? That's the breakfast dish by Kayleigh McCain and it's called Hex Eggs in Purgatory. Ooh. 
<laughs> you wouldn't think that patas for breakfast would be very nice, but it works really well, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> it's gone <I'll> more. <laughs> so next up's a lunch dish, and this is by Annabelle Taylor, and it's called Muscle Up. It tastes like coconut oil. Yeah, it's nice. very nice. nice. It tastes really like clean and fresh. Mm. Mm. That's so nice. It's quite simple to make as well for lunchtime. Quick, quick, quick yeah. Easy, yeah. But it's really healthy as well. It is. Mm. So this one's the Heconomical Cassoulet by Annie Taylor. And it's like packed with loads of veg. So it's got um, carrots, celery, tin tomatoes. It's really nice. It's really nice. It is. It's like really heartwarming. It's got a bit of a kick to it as well, doesn't it? My favourite's definitely the Hecky Poetry, the breakfast dish. Yeah, I think so. that's definitely a winner for me, the breakfast dish. Really? Well, I think it's the really cassoulet for me. I think cassoulet as well. Oh, tie. <laughs> <laughs> need someone to come in. It's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie breaker. We came to a tie, but we've just had a quick discussion and I think we've decided that the breakfast dish by Kayleigh McCain is going to be the winner overall just because of the whole idea and the concept of it was just really cool and we just never thought of that we could do eggs in that way. We've never seen that before. For breakfast. For breakfast. With peppers. Well done, Kaylee, from Heck. You've won a year's supply of Heck sausages.